Hey, how's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a grid system for your Bauhaus poster designs. If you haven't already, check out the grid video that I did for Swiss poster designs right here. All right, let's jump in Illustrator and get started. All right, so we're here in Illustrator and we're going to go to File and New and we're going to set this at 24 by 36 and we're going to create maybe four, we'll just do like four different artboards here. Okay, so we've got four artboards going across right here. And the general rule of thumb when you're putting together Bauhaus grid designs is that forever how many columns you have, you double the amount of rows. So let's go over here to view and guides. And we're gonna unlock guides and I'm gonna hit command R or control R on my keyboard and we're gonna bring over a guide right here and for a 24 by 36 I'm gonna give us a two inch margin so let's bring this in on the X value two inches over and on the Y value two inches and then negative two inches there and negative two inches here so this is gonna give us a two inch margin right here on the outside and most Bauhaus posters will have a container that you put all of your artwork in and this is how you base your container so the absolute minimum here is going to be a two column four row layout so i'm going to show you how to do this and what you want to do for each guide is you want to create yourself a gutter so we're going to copy these lines by holding down option or alt on your keyboard and just click and drag and now we're going to set the spacing of these gutters so we've got two inches going from the side here and between the two of these we want to have a spacing of about a quarter of an inch and the reason we do that is because that's double the amount of what you want to do for a bleed which is about an eighth of an inch so we're going to select these two right here and we're going to set this one as our key object and we're going to go over here to distribute spacing for vertical right here and that's going to make that exactly a quarter of an inch and we'll do the same thing over here and since we've already set our guide to the outside we want to select the outside one because we don't want that one to move and then let's do the same thing to the bottom all right so for these two we're going to select these two in the center and it doesn't matter which one you select right here because we're gonna do this. And now we're gonna select both of them, Command or Control G on our keyboard to group them together. And now we're just gonna make sure that Align to Artboard is selected. And we're gonna just center that right into the artboard. All right, so here's our two column layout. So we need to create four rows. So we're gonna select these two, group them together, Command or Control G. And we're gonna duplicate these and then hit Command or Control D on your keyboard to duplicate it. So what you want is you want one, two, three, four areas that are open right here because we have two going across and four going down. So now what we need to do is select these two at the bottom and hit Command or Control G. And now we're going to select all of these that are going horizontally. Go over here to our Align panel and make sure that Align to Selection is selected and go to Distribute Spacing Vertically. Okay, so here is your perfectly aligned 2x4 grid system for your Bauhaus poster designs. All right, so now I'm gonna move these out of the way right here so these don't interfere with these artboards. And now we're gonna create the most common one, which is gonna be 4x8. And this isn't necessarily a hard and fast rule, but it's best to stick with even numbers. So if you've got two going across, you should have four going down, four across, eight down, six across, 12 down, eight across, 16 down, and so on and so forth. But you don't want to get too complex. And now we'll just create the same process right here. So let's copy these guides right here. I haven't locked them yet. And they're already grouped together, so I don't have to worry about them separating. And the good thing about doing this is that you only have to set it up once. You can save this file and then go back and grab these guides anytime you want to. But basically, if you know how to set up basic guides in Illustrator, and if you know how to count, then you're in good shape. All right, so here's our four across and eight going down right here. And I've never actually worked with a grid system beyond these numbers right here. So I think that doing a two by four or a four by eight is going to serve you perfectly fine, especially considering that if you start all of your posters in 24 by 36, if you scale it down to like a 12 by 18 or something like that, then all of your elements and your guides are going to size down proportionately. Okay, you may be saying now, what about placing elements? Well, that's actually pretty easy. All you have to do is follow your guide. So I'm going to go up here to view guides and lock guides. So that's going to lock those down. They won't be able to move and I'm not going to be able to interfere with them in any way. All right, so I went ahead and dropped these Bauhaus colors in here. And just a reminder, you are not limited to only these colors when it comes to Bauhaus design. You can do other colors as well, but this is just the classic Bauhaus color palette. So let's go back to placing some objects here. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're following the grid and also make sure that you have smart guides turned on. So go to view, and smart guides and that's going to tell you exactly if you're lined up with your guides or not okay so since we have this square and we have these guides going across these two guides do not create a perfect square but we want to make sure that we are within our gutters right here and perfectly aligned to our guides let's grab a circle and we'll make this red and let's align it to these guides right here and we'll size this up to probably 
right there. Let's zoom in to make sure that we've got that exactly right. Good. And then we'll do something different with this triangle. We'll just rotate it. We'll do something like this. And we'll place this right here, maybe like right here on this guide, and then right here on this guide. And it's perfectly fine to have things overlapping. Just to make it a little bit more visually interesting, let's rotate this square. So I'm gonna hit R on my keyboard, and it's gonna bring up the rotate panel after I hit enter, so R and then enter. And then we'll rotate it at 15 degrees, that looks good. And now we wanna make sure that we place this within our guides again. And then we'll just kinda size it up to about that guide over here on the right side. And then we'll just bring this to the front. And since today's Tuesday, we'll just write out Tuesday. Always go in here and make sure that you're kerning. At the very least, set it to optical kerning and that'll get you a good start. Okay, so we'll set this to about 140 for the size and let's set this on our grids right here. We'll align this text to the left and go over here and bring it to the left side. And we'll align that to the grid, just like that. And that's looking pretty cool. And you can also change the color of that to blue. And Tuesday is the third day of the week, so we'll just put a random three right there and just kind of maybe stick it down here in the bottom but the key is to make sure that you're aligning with the grid. And in general, you wanna make sure that you're aligning the baseline of your text with the grid. However, in this case, it's perfectly fine to align it optically with the bottom of that three, since we're only using this three in this spot. And we'll color this red just for the heck of it. And we'll pull up our grid and zoom in. And as you can see, we are aligned on the left side of this. However, we are out of bounds right here. This isn't necessarily a bad thing. You can actually break the rules sometimes as long as you're effective with it. But if you're a stickler for the rules and go ahead and bring it inside of that grid, and it'll give you a little bit more overlap and a little bit more overlap can make things a lot more visually interesting. And I'm just gonna swap the fill in the stroke and see what this looks like. And obviously we have to bring up our points right here. That's pretty cool. Oh, and also while I'm here, you may already know about this, but I'll just go ahead and show it to you. So select all three of these and go up here to object intertwine and make. And now where all of these objects intersect with each other, you can just click right here and it'll make an intertwine for you. It's pretty cool. All right, so just remember that simple formula, however many columns you have, you double the amount of rows. And that's how you create a grid for your Bathouse posters. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications to be notified of all future videos. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.